Ragira with three electric motors and high revving engine directly connected to wheels without transmission. So how does this mega car powertrain work? Let's untangle in this video. The powertrain layout of Ragira is like this. The battery, then an electric motor which is directly connected on crankshaft of IC engine, which works as starter motor to start the engine, then works along with engine kinda like a mild hybrid to increase the torque and power coming out from the crank, and also works as generator by which it charges the small battery. Then after this, there is an IC engine which connects to the hydro coupe the most crucial part of the system. It is basically a torque converter which operates at three stages, first of which is open up. At this stage, the crankshaft rotates but the power does not transmit forward. There is 100% slip as the pressure built up is not allowed. So it's simply like declutching the engine from the powertrain. The second stage is torque conversion. When the crank puts power in hydraulic coupling, Due to the straighter blades at different angle, the torque getting out is multiplied and the revs get low. You can think it as reduction gear effect where the power in is at higher RPM and lower torque and at output higher torque and lower RPM is obtained. At initial acceleration when lot of torque is required, it's good thing to have but it's not very efficient way of transmitting power as there are lot of losses in between. So momentarily transmitting power via it for more torque is okay, but always doing so is not great. To overcome this efficiency problem comes the third stage of working, that is lockup function. So it's like connecting the output and input shaft directly with physical contact. Meaning, all this thing works as single piece like a single shaft, transmitting power directly, eliminating losses of hydraulic transmission, but at speed ratio of 1 is to 1, meaning no torque multiplication. Then this hydro coupe connects to the final drive with reduction ratio and differential, further to which there are two electric motors on each axle, which also drives the vehicle. Then the power is delivered to the wheels. Now let's see how the system works at different speeds. At very slow speeds, like in parking spaces, the engine is shut off, just the electric motors at rear drive the vehicle. Then as you move above this speed range, the engine starts. As the vehicle is at fairly low speed, the electric motors have high torque, so the vehicle is driven only electric. Even though the engine is running, initially it doesn't make much power, so as to make any difference in acceleration. Hence, the hydro coupe is open up, and the engine is not transmitting any power forward. Now, as you want to accelerate even more, the electric motor starts dropping off the torque, pouring the acceleration. Hence, to avoid this, the engine kicks in to assist. But there is one problem. Engine cannot rev infinitely low. It runs at least at idling RPM. And as we want power from engine to assist motors, the engine should rev above idle RPM to make power. The engine RPM is lot higher than what it needs to put from here to smoothly drive the vehicle. To solve this problem comes the role of second stage of hydro coupe, that is torque conversion. It takes power from the engine and converts it to high torque and low RPM as required. Now this power is put in from here assisting the electric motors on torque. So without any decrease in torque at wheels, you can accelerate quickly. This is okay for initial acceleration, but wasting power in losses in hydro coupe is not a great thing. Hence as the speed of the vehicle is increased furthermore, the hydro coupe shifts on third stage that is lockup. At higher speeds, the input RPM required here is sufficiently higher, which the engine can give without any reduction. So the hydro coupe locks up, and this transmits power like a single shaft with no reduction and power losses. After this, the power from electric motor and engine simultaneously drive the vehicle. At deceleration or braking, the electric motors regenerate power to recharge the small battery. The battery is kept small to save on weight. But as it is very crucial part of the powertrain, hence this electric motor also works as generator. So in case you run out of charge, then at stop or at fairly low speed, when the engine is not giving power to the wheels, the engine generates power and this electric motor works as generator to charge the batteries. When more use of this motor is to assist the engine to increase the power at the crank, 
when the engine has to deliver more power to the wheels. Hence, when the engine is transmitting power forward, the electric motor also assist it. That's how simple the Regira's powertrain is. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get notified for future videos. Also make sure you hit the like button and share this video. If having any question or comments, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now I'm signing off and see you guys next week.